everyone, it's Gretchen here with Cat and Paul. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, if you're not drunk yet, have you had your green beer? It's just Friday afternoon, or all Friday evening, just got off work. Mark just got home, and I'm busy getting ready to package up a couple things because I'm going to a baby shower tomorrow. I am trying my hand at those little baby cupcake onesies. This one turned out a lot cuter. You see, I left the sock there because I don't want to stretch it out too bad. So I got my cupcake box. Have you guys ever tried this? I watched like 10 videos. And um, I've got my whole purpose pad here. I still don't have my desk yet. Still out in the garage. Um, let me see, put this down in a second. So, I found if I roll this up a little bit tighter, like the different ones I watched, they just did it in threes, but then it just didn't look right, so, I don't know. So here's my method. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to take this fingernail polish off. So what I try to do is get the little, and there's those, those tabs everywhere. There's little thingies there. <clears throat> Just roll it up. So that's supposed to be the cherry. Okay. We'll call this a olive. And it's supposed to stick out of the top. I wonder. Yeah. And then this is supposed to be like the, the swirly icing part. And then you take the other sock. Now there's different ones I've watched. They seem like the easiest to do. Without stretching the sock out too much. I want her to use them. So there's your little top, your icing. This is supposed to be the little cupcake holder or the cake. I don't know what. I don't have babies anymore, so I just wanted to try it since I am going to a baby shower. I saw the video, I'm like, that's really cute. But when would I ever need size 3 to 12 months? So I've just been leaving that kind of like that. So don't stretch it. I don't know. There's my little cupcake. Put in my little cupcake box. I'm going to have five in there. So there'll be one in the middle that squishes it. I can show you that magic again if you want because I have another one ready to go. I got five onesies and six pairs of socks. But I'm just going to shove one underneath the cupcakes. But they grow with me onesies, which is nice. My kids lived in onesies. And when they got really messed up and they had a bad, like, cold or whatever, or flu, well, I don't know, I guess cold, and they had to diarrhea real bad, I just pitched her onesie. It was done. So I just try to get that really rolled up tight there. Oh, that little ducky's cute, but see some of the socks come with colored toes and some come with white toes. And I just try to get the little toesy part out for the little whatever supposed to be yeah it's just we'll just tuck it in that one just doesn't look as nice hmm. let me try that again I think I have to have it come you know towards me to to do it right that in a little bit and then take the other one well see I keep running into the same issue 
but they're cute though. I'll have one more that goes there and that will help keep those stable because right now they're moving. Isn't that cute? Little onesie cupcakes. <sighs> the things you do for fun. Nah, she wanted. She she has a toy out. A Toys R Us registry. I don't go to Toys R Us. I just got her a gift card instead. And then she doesn't want cards. She wants a book. So I picked up this little book and I'll just write. You know your grandmother's friends because I know the grandmother more than I do her. But it's cute little fuzzy book and oh, I'm gonna make a little envelope for it that's I cut it I just haven't gotten that far yet with it but how cute is this I got this at Walmart a little Easter bag but I say it works for a little baby shower bag so that is that let me put these socks in here it is so hard to keep cat hair off of clothes baby clothes or whatever so I've been really careful making sure I get everything off and hopefully she washes this stuff before she puts it on the baby. I'm sure she will. So I just want to be extra careful about that. You know, you ever go to a summer picnic and you have to bring something and you're hoping that hair doesn't get into it? That does me. Oh, those are cute. Oh my goodness. This is going to be cuter with the one in the middle. Oh, so adorable. As soon as I got my crafty pad here, oh, I want to show you something real quick. Let me pause this. Oh, you got your green one? Got my green one. I'm good. I did that, um, played with that stuff from last week, potpourri. And I better be careful. I think the lid's pretty tight. But you can see the water. It worked. I put it on the centerpiece for, I don't know, about... Three hours is what, three, six, nine? I, oh, it could only handle three hours. It was, it smelled like it was sugar cookie. Didn't really smell like sugar cookie. Kind of had that vanilla essence to it, but it just wasn't like appetizing. Like, ooh, it smells like sugar cookie in the house. It wasn't that at all. So I was done with it. I put the lid on it. I just wanted to show it to you guys. I'm just going to pitch the whole thing, but it did soak in to that, um, the, the birch cones and stuff in here and the apple pods. And you can't smell it through here. But it did scent up the house. I'm like, oh, that's that sugar cookie. Anyways, that was fun to play with. Um, what else we got going on? Bet you're wondering what these cute little pink bunnies are behind me. Or should I say the pink mold with the yellow bunnies? I made more melts. Yes, I haven't even done them yet. I used the Ashland Vanilla Cream, I think it is, from Michaels. I always have difficulty burning those candles. They want to go whichever way they want. So I put it on the melter and poured me some and then just put the other half on the melter to enjoy. Um, let me put this down so you can see it. Oh my goodness, look at those little bunnies. Look how easy these pop out. So I got this at Walmart. $5, $4.97 something. And look at that. Just so easy. This wax is, oh, there's sparklies on it from my other one. I washed it out though, but you know, glitter. Glitter sticks to everything. Um, I, what was I going to say now? can't remember but they pop out so easily oh this wax is a little different oh you can even hear it I don't know what Ashland makes if they use a paraffin no it's not I want to say there's any soy in it I don't know probably nothing that's good for you probably more petroleum based than anything it sounds weird when they clink together It smells not, the wax, I guess, 
I maybe took on a little bit of the bunny cake that was in here before, but that bunny cake was so strong. And when I melted it, that is the way to go if you want to get your house scented. Now these are really light. Again, it's vanilla, but I'll put them in my warmer. I've made them more for me because of the, the burn on the candle itself. It's difficult. This popped right out. It must have fall right back in. So I got some bunny heads. Pull you back up. Yeah, I will wait to touch that again because I don't want to get wax or anything on those baby clothes. My hands smell like that bunny cake. So that is that. That is what I'm up to today. St. Patrick's Day. I got my green on. Haven't had anything to drink yet. Probably won't. We were going to go to Applebee's and I said, oh, it's probably going to be packed because everybody's going to be there partying. So. I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I have a coupon, mobile and email. I need to get coffee. Um, I need to get cat food soon. Hey, thanks. Stop it. They are so bratty. Oh. And I need to get um, cat food and uh, some other things. I just can't remember now. I'm always like this one. Friday evenings for some reason. It's like my mind's just done. Done for the week. But I will put this aside. Let's do money. So I've been keeping you on here too long. Week number 12. I looked this time. See what we got. Oh, what is that? Oh, another big one. 14. That's okay, you know, we get the big ones out of the way now around tax season, which I still haven't done my taxes yet, but getting there. And we get the big ones out of the way, and then, you know, when we're broke in the summer, we'll do little ones. I don't know. It's just whatever comes out. The highest is 24. Two, there's like two of each. One through 24, 48 weeks, if I re recall correctly. So, anyways, $14, towards our money challenge. And hope everyone's having a great uh, St. Patrick's Day, having a great weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.